Welcome, you people. Ivan is Iceman, and the model name I know by heart is IC420-ABM for Almost Blue Metallic. What does it stand for? Oh, Antique Blue Metallic. So, this puppy, $6.99, not bad. Comes in a gig bag. Very, very well done, Ivan is. Finally, you're listening. Now, I'm going to say the Iceman is Ibanez's answer to the Explorer. Makes sense. I mean, you know, long lower horn, but with a little comma on it. Not super long up here. It's definitely a bigger guitar. Uh, you know these things from the guy with the face paint. 
huge headstock, but it matches oh, uh, <clears throat> the body. It makes sense. You get these in super expensive with mirror finishes and all that stuff. $6.99, I'm going to tell you right away, even though they are paying me to make this video, I will be honest with you, is a steal for this. I am so blown away by what they delivered here. Let's go into this right away. What this is, is essentially a Les Paul. Stop your whining. This is a Les Paul. Why? We have two humbuckers, three position switch up here. We got four knobs, way too many. For me, it should be one and one, or actually just volume. I would be fine with this. You'll never use the tone on this. Don't be stupid. This looks like a Les Paul. This is a set neck, looks like a Les Paul. Painted neck, looks like a Les Paul. Um, it's got a volute, doesn't look like a Les Paul. It's got a freaking volute on the angled headstock. It, the whole idea, set neck, double humbucker, three positions, four knobs, three and three. It's a Les Paul that's shaped differently, but in terms of the function and the tone that we should be able to expect from this, it should be a Les Paul. And that's what you're getting. It just doesn't look like one. We have a bound fretboard, tiny little dots on the side, but they're nicely visible in the fretboard and they're all in the same height. We have a binding here. I'm going to read things to you. Uh, Okume body, which is standard now for many brands in any price range. Uh, my Nikuba is an Okume body. Set neck, three piece neck, also ok Okume, Chetoba fretboard, bound. It's a IC shape the neck. I don't know. It's a, it's a C-ish, D-ish. I don't know. C-ish, D-ish. I, it's a neck's a good neck. I can't describe neck profiles. 628, 43, plastic nut, 22 medium frets, two super 80 humbuckers. They by themselves are 150 bucks. They are Ibanez super 80s. I don't know what that means, but they got a B on it and that's cool. Two volume, two tone, three position switch, a Gibraltar performance stop tail in gold, Ibanez tuners. They should be at this price range. Locking tuners, Ibanez. Why aren't you fucking listening? But okay, be that way. Uh, quick change three tail piece. I don't know why that's a quick change. I have, oh, because you can put the strings in from above and not through. Just clip them in from above. Comes with tens, antique blue metallic, and includes a kickback. That's all nice and dandy, but the big question is, what does it sound like? You already heard it. It is phenomenal. Playing leads on this just makes you freaking smile. The thickness, the articulation, the sustain. Because it's a Les Paul type guitar with a lot of wood. There's extra here, there's extra there, there's some extra there, and that matters, even though Glenn thinks it doesn't, but Glenn is wrong. I would not have volume, volume, tone, tone. Is it volume, volume, tone, tone? I think so. Yes, it is. Volume, volume, tone, tone. I would have only volume and we're good, but can't pick it. Uh, the the knobs are classic-y and I don't like them. It's too, too voluminous, voluminous in Sherman, but Okay, oh, we have a nice little detail here in the 12th fret with a little abalone in there. Nice. Tonally, this thing will rival Gibson single cuts, I will guarantee you, worth three times the money. Very easily. I'm thinking tonally, this is as good as a guitar gets. I, I would actually think that tonally, it can compete with the best I have in the room here. And I've got good stuff in the room.
definitely some massive output on these, uh, but still clarity. That was, of course, the Royalist from Tone King through a cream bag photo of loaded cap in the ox. <laughs> And we're going to go into the Astro 20 on the Purple Galaxy. Special Asian Founders Edition with some delay and stuff. It's very, very simple that the bottom line is that leads are phenomenal with this. It's so easy to play. The way that I got it, action, perfect. Um, just a divine guitar for this kind of work. No question about that. Going to go into the Marshall JCM 800. <laughs> And the Victory Super Sheriff. Oh, we forgot the more classic -y Morgan MVP 66, which is JTM ish. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, I would wish a little bit more brightness was in there, but that can be dialed in on the amp or with a different cab. So that is it for this puppy. $6.99 is, I think, for what you get internally in terms of playability, a steal. You gotta be into the shape. I'm not into weird shapes. I'm not a V guy or Explorer guy simply because of practicality. Because they're bigger, they require bigger gig bags, bigger cases. They're usually heavier. They look cool on stage. Am I working on stage? No, I'm working in a studio. So for me, shape, I don't care. It needs to be practical. This is still practical. The gig bag seems to be a normal gig bag. That horn is a bit bigger, but that's fine. You can get quite easily up into like the 21st fret, 22nd fret. That's all good. Beautiful playability, beautiful compression, thickness. The leads are amazing. It's a rock monster. It's not a modern gent beast. For that, it's too thick. Okay, you need leanness in the low end. This doesn't have that. It's got thickness all around. For me, this is an amazing Les Paul. And that's exactly what I mean. When I, it, it has everything a Les Paul is supposed to have. Three positions, double humbucker, four knobs, set neck, the tone of a Les Paul. It just doesn't look like one. So if you, if you're not married to the single cut life, to the single cut wife, you'd be married to the wife, wouldn't you? Then, this is the better Les Paul. You will not regret buying this if Les Paul tones are what you're looking for. I absolutely regret having to send this back because when I improvised with it, I was in heaven. I was just flying away and could have done this for hours. Well done, Ibanez, this time around. Really well done. Except for the locking tuners, but you know that shit. I put links below, please use them. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't, that is absolutely necessary. Or um, if you didn't like the video, as my friend Bern Kilt says, uh, click the thumb twice to really, you know, let me know that you hated it. It's, it's funny, Bern's funny man. Animals at the end. Mm -hmm.